Hello everyone! Here's another episode of my vlogs, training, and hoping to give you encouragement, enlighten your lives, strengthen your heart for another day. Alright, today I'm going to share to you how to avoid a nerve-wracking life. Hmm, ano nga ba itong nerve-wracking life na ito? Ikaw ba ay nagpulimhanan? Are you being anxious? Are you being afraid? Are you becoming tense? Alright? Or are you becoming afraid of what's coming next? Are you worried of what are you about to do for the next past day, uh, for the next coming days? Today, I'm going to give you just two things that you can do. And I'm gonna use the life of Solomon as an example. Alam niyo po si Solomon, lahat ng luho, lahat ng magandang bagay, lahat ng power, kayamanan, at lahat ng mahihiling na isang tao ay nasa kanya. Kagwapuhan. Hmm. Okay, sa so mga single dyan, katulad ni Solomon, yung jojoain ba o tropapangin, mga nauuso dyan ngayon, si Solomon ay isang good example. Pero lang nyo, there's one thing or one statement na nakakapagtaka kay Solomon after having all of these things in his life. Ang sabi niya, everything is vanity. Everything is useless. Everything is meaningless. Kaya niyo po yun. Napaka-ironic na ang dami-dami natin kinisip, ang dami-dami natin kinoproblema, ang dami-dami natin concerns. Pero at the end of their lives, parang sinabi ni Solomon eh, Everything is vanity. Walang kabuluhan ang lahat ng bagay. Okay? If I will sum up the life and the wisdom of Solomon, makikita natin yan in Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13. Ang sabi niya, lahat ng bagay ito ang konklusyon. Sabi niya, first is fear God, second is keep His Yan lang pala ang dapat na gawin ng man. That's the full duty of man. Yan ang sabi ko ng Solomon. Aba, ang dami natin duty. My wife's duty, parental duty, okay? And our duty sa job, sa work natin. But ang bagong duties, ito pala yung pinatakap na kailangan natin i-consider. Ano nga ba itong fear God? It comes from the Hebrew word, yare. Hmm, imbes na pag naproblemado tayo, yari ka. Kapag madami kang mga nagawang kasalanan, yari ka. Yari din ako. <laughs> okay, pero ang yari na ito is a reverence to God. It's your own fear to God. Ito yung takot ka na magkasala at lahat ng gagawin natin is just to please Him and to glorify Him. That things will be easier. Rather than pleasing people, let's just please God. We can never please everyone. Si God is alam at it will please natin. Salama. If we do something good, of course, people will be happy of what we are doing. Although you cannot please everybody, the Lord will surely be pleased with you. If you do what is right and you keep His commandments. Yan lang. Yan lang yung dalawang bagay na dapat natin isaisip. Huwag na tayong magproblema sa iba pang bagay. Let's take it lightly. Kung wala tayong work na yun, I encourage you. Be positive. Calm down. Okay? Don't, do not worry. Mag-a-add lang yan sa'yo ng wrinkle. Tatanggalin lang niya yung joy mo for today. I-still lang niya yung hope mo for tomorrow. If you worry things about everything will be useless in the end of our lives. Let's just focus on what is more essential. Okay? So that is to fear God and keep His commandments. Maging yari ka sa Panginoon. Let's fear Him and let's give reverence to Him in every day of our lives. Okay, so God bless you today. Be strong always in the Lord. Keep His commandments. That is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. And also, to love your neighbors as you love yourself. Okay, yan lang po yung darawang bagay na dapat natin alalahanin now about the pandemic.
pandemic 